Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I'm making another video here uh, to display the EMFs that come off of your computer, off your laptop. Uh, now I'm going to assume that my laptop's basically like the rest that are out there. So um, yeah, here we go. So right here I've got my tri-field meter again. If you've seen my other videos, I use this for all the testing. So I'm first going to set it just to the test where it sort of just detects EMFs in the area. So if you were, say, in an environment where there's no EMFs at all, uh, this thing should sit at zero. Because we're in like an urban environment, there's little EMFs kind of passing all around us. This thing keeps hovering up to about three to five generally. So I'm going to show you now as I approach my laptop what happens. So I'm getting closer, getting closer, and like already. Now imagine your hands are on the keyboard all day. Watch what happens. Boom. <laughs> It's, it can't even go any further. It, it wants to. Um, I'm afraid to know how high this actually is. Uh, basically, the only thing you can do in this situation, um, I mean, of course, I sell pendants. I sell different things to help compensate and help the body deal with um, EMF exposure. But uh, when it's something like this and it's that bad, the only thing you can do really uh, is use a grounding mat. Uh, if you're not familiar with grounding technology, uh, let me see if I can find something here really quick. I generally have something in the area. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is a grounding mat. So it just looks like, it's actually a mouse pad one. And uh, yeah, if you guys are wondering, I can actually send you a link to the site that sells this. You can find them online though. Uh, they're getting more and more popular. Basically, what it does is it plugs into the ground. Uh, of your socket. So right here, we've got it here, I'm plugging it in. And what that's doing is, is basically grounding your body as long as you're in uh, touch with this, as long as you're in contact with it. So what I typically would do is sort of set it in front of the keyboard, like so, if it can actually balance there. In this case, it's not really. When If you're touching it, it is. So I'd have my hands sort of resting on it while I'm typing on the keyboard. And that at least minimizes, you know, the EMFs are passing through the computer into my body, but because of this grounding mat, they're passing out the grounding mat almost immediately, so it's completely neutralizing uh, the EMFs as a result. Um, it's not going to eliminate the um, EMFs emitting from the source, and that's what a lot of people have to understand, is a lot of times these different devices aren't so much working on the source of the EMF and actually neutralizing it. What they're doing is they're helping your body sort of ground and compensate to actually assist in getting the EMFs out of the body. So um, yeah, that's basically what that mat does. And uh, they also make other ones too. There's a cool one I love, uh, I don't have it here. It's basically like a little wristband that attaches uh, to here. So it, it would basically attach into a little wristband and you can just, if you're at your computer all day, you can just you know slip it onto your ankle, onto your wrist. And then as a result, you know, you're grounded, which is great. And uh, you know, seeing is believing. So when you're seeing this, it's you know, <laughs> you can't escape this. Uh, all these EMFs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the setting here to uh, slightly uh, less sensitive. So this is one that's like, when this one goes high, this is serious, serious business. This is bad news. And as you can see right here, it's it's hovering up to 100, over 100. On this setting, that's like horrific. Like it's only meant to. You know, if you find something that's 100 on this range, it means it's a serious, serious EMF, EMF source. So, um, if you saw my other video, I think the only other thing that came close to this range was the electronic toothbrush. Um, so if you're brushing your teeth right now with electronic toothbrushes, I'd highly recommend you stop because that's actually sending all those EMFs and negative energy into, if you have a metal in your mouth, it's actually in cat and um, I believe in almost embedding the energy into the metal in your mouth and you're just carrying these EMFs around in your mouth. Uh, which are very possibly uh, affecting bacteria in, in your mouth and then are going to cause, you know, issues with your, oh, your teeth and your gums. So, anyway, uh, there you have it. Laptops are a rough thing. So, all you can do basically is find a way to ground yourself. The, um, the mat is a good idea. Uh, any kind of grounding technology. Um, of course, I mean, I've got my, my stickers and my pendants and that, which do help. But of course, uh, as I tell everyone, I mean, you got to do everything you can. Uh, I, ideally, you know, you're going to just get away from the source entirely. But if you can't, then the best thing you can do basically is just uh, do everything else. Do everything else you can. So 
Uh, again, I hope this was informative and somewhat helpful, maybe even entertaining, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is that. So if I come up with any other crazy stuff to film, I'm sure I will, and I'll probably make a video too. So, <laughs> alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye.